Jordy, welcome to Los Angeles. Thank it's you. your first time. Yeah. What brought you to Los Angeles and the States in general? I was in a band called Overlo back in uh, the UK and we went on X Factor. We was together for a good couple of years before so and we went on X Factor, got to the live shows, got kicked off um, and the band split up after X Factor so it kind of left me where I thought oh, I don't know really what to do. Um, I love music so much and I loved everything about the entertainment industry so I, I just thought right I'm gonna bite the bullet do a solo career and do everything that I can to kind of make it work. But I also had a vision that I wanted to be like stateside and do it over here. I didn't really want to be based in the UK doing it. So I'm kind of hoping now that I'm just over here doing bits and pieces. So you're visiting for a potential move. Yeah, I'm, I've got the plan that I'm coming back in the summer for about a month. I mean, I'm over here for a couple of weeks now. So I'm going to come back in, um, in July or something like that, hopefully release a bit of music around that sort of time to kind of hopefully get a few gigs and everything over here. What was it like being in a boy band? I know that each one is different, but were you guys bros? Were you guys just friends? Were you guys a little bit competitive? What was it like? Well, we was basically living in our manager's flat. It was a one bedroom flat between six of us. So you can imagine it was quite like cramped and everything. So we was in, in each other's faces every single second of the day. It was, it was good that we all got on. So we was lucky in that sense. Um, there was me and one other of the boys that we, we got on really well, but there was times that we clashed in certain ways and stuff. And when I wanted to do something, he'd have like the opposite opinion and things like that. And sometimes it caused a little bit of tension, but other than that, we was like all good as gold. Although we was crammed together and to, like together for so long in each other's faces, it was also good when we see everyone in public because they realized how much of a bond we actually had. And when we performed on stage, it didn't look like set up or anything. It looked quite natural. So I guess that was kind of like a good aspect to kind of have. Now that you're a solo singer, is that weird when you're like on stage and it's just you? Like, do you miss the guys or do you like it? Like, finally, it's yeah. my turn. Performing on the stage with five up, like four of the other lads, it was good because I guess all the pressure wasn't on me to kind of uh, do the performance and everything like that. But whereas now it's all, all, all on me, the spotlight's all on me. I mean, I love it and everything like that, but again, it's that added pressure, but I guess I'm not really fussed about that. I, I can only do as best as I can do, and then that's it. You're working on some music, an EP yeah. that's gonna come out sometime soon. Yeah, yeah. What can you tell us about that? Well, the EP is quite its quite diverse. It's very pop R&B, um, it's got them vibes, and I'd like to say that people wouldn't really expect it of me, because of obviously what they've seen in the band and everything like that. They've, they've only seen us do pop music, so I guess that what, what I'm going to be bringing out in the later of the year is not what they probably would expect from me, and I guess it's that kind of the old school NSYNC sort of thing, but then it's also got a new sort, the newish sort of sound that's out nowadays, so I'm, I am looking forward to bringing it out, and it's hopefully going to go down well. Tell me about your writing process for your songs that you've already figured out for your EP. Do you usually get inspired by an event or story or is it more like you're in the studio and you're just vibing and something comes out? I guess I guess it's a bit of um, a bit of both really because I kind of go on everyday sort of life so it connects with everyone but then I also like you say bring it into my life as well so um, the songs are a little bit like the younger generation kind of getting them to connect with it more and everything like that but I guess it's also them them kind of songs that I hopefully look at that all ages will like. I co-write the songs and stuff so I'm in with like amazing writers and stuff and they're all from different backgrounds as well which helps because they all have different ideas and like you say we vibe off of each other so it's yeah it's, it's easy really it's really good. If you could collaborate with someone that we would recognize who would you pick? A dream collaboration would be The weekend or like Justin Timberlake, anyone like that, I think they're, they're two of my idols I think I've always looked up to. Maybe someone like Ariana Grande, any like rappers and things like that to kind of feature on the songs would be a really good look. Your fashion is very cool, you're rocking the light pink. Yeah. Do you usually work with stylists or do you pick out your own clothes? How does it all work? No, I mean I, I pick out all my own stuff. If you had a group of guys go into a shop and like you'd see like the most outrageous thing and you'd go like and they, like four out of five would go no I wouldn't wear that I couldn't I couldn't wear that I couldn't go out in public with it I'd be the one person to go no I'm definitely I'd wear that. Do you ever feel nervous stepping out in the one thing that everyone else wouldn't pick? No I guess it's each to their own and it some people love it some people hate it that's just the kind of fashion I like and if 
no one likes it, they can give their opinion and then that's it. But if they do, they, they like it. I'm not really fast, quite confident in myself that I just like to wear what I want to wear. So. That's how it should be. Yeah. You should wear what you want. Let's do yeah. some quick takes. So the first thing that pops in your mind. Your favorite way to exercise? Chest press. I'm terrible at cardio though. Absolutely terrible. So I guess that's something that I should be working on. What is your go-to guilty pleasure snack? Domino's pizza. That's not a snack, but that's like my go-to. Or TGI's. TGI Fridays, that's like my go-to. What would be your, your favorite hobby to do like on a day off? Motocross. Huge motocross fan. I used to do it when I was a kid and stuff, so I guess I grew up doing that. What's the main thing about yourself that you always make sure is right? Like, is it your hair, your outfit, your shoes, your eyebrows? What is it? My hair or my outfit. I only recently had my eyebrows like threaded and oh my god, it is the worst thing I've ever gone through, ever. Like, I had it done that a couple of weeks ago and I thought, nah, I'm never having this done again. I'd rather have the bushiest eyebrows that were out of hand. Like, I couldn't do it again because it was ridiculous. I've had tattoos and everything and I thought, nah. I come out there like squealing like a pig when my eyes were watering so bad. It was like ridiculous. So. Welcome to the girls' yeah, life. Definitely, guys, don't do it. <laughs> bad move. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But They look good though. Oh, <laughs> I don't care if they look good, it's that hurt, it's bad. Who would be one actor you could watch in any movie? Will Ferrell, or Jim Carrey, or Zach Galifianakis, any three of them, like, I could, any film that I know they're in, I just know it's gonna be good. If you could go on a date with any starlet in Hollywood, who would you go with? Margot Robbie. What's a song that is on repeat when you're working out? Six Feet Under by The Weeknd. So I think it's on his new album, I think that's, uh, of any any song of the weekend, pretty much, really. I think it's unreal. Your biggest pet peeve? People like chewing with their mouth open. I think that's like, oh, it's the worst thing for me. Like, I, I'll even be sitting in the restaurant if I see if I can see someone like eating with their mouth open. I'll be fixed on that person. I'll be thinking, oh, just please show your mouth, please, please, just eat, just so I can't forget see. about who you're yeah, with. Yeah, like they'll be talking to me face to face, and I'll be like li literally fixed on someone else. We can't please just show your mouth. Please, please. And what's one thing we'd be surprised to know about you? Something that a lot of people don't know about me is I'm very, very superstitious. And I think, I think it's that sort of thing, once I tell someone that I'm superstitious, you'll start to notice things that I like do. I'm, I'm a complete weirdo, really. I have to touch like the wall or something that when I'm walking past it and stuff, but it's like, it's just super weird. Like, I sound like, like a crazy person when I tell someone that. But it's just, I, I don't know why. Ever since a young age, I don't know why, I, just, I had to do it. It's so <laughs> weird. And what's something that you find is interesting about Americans or being in America, positive or negative? Everyone that I've met is ridiculously positive and it's so refreshing to be around. Can you do any imitations of American phrases or our accents? I really want to see the Hollywood sign today. Wow. <laughs>